Hi guys, in today's video we're going to be having a look at the Army Painters brand new metallic colours paint set. Now first of all, as you can see on the front of the box, we have 10 different coloured metallic paints. And another really cool thing is, if you can read this label, if I can just angle it right because it's shiny. Uh, feel lucky, it says you may find a rare golden brush in this box set. Now I didn't find uh, a golden uh, brush in this box set but the fact that they're randomly inserting some really cool golden brushes in some of these packs is uh, a great idea and i think that's uh, a really nice touch from the army painter there uh so you get 10 metallic paints in the set and one of those paints fairy dust is an effect paint which is a very very uh shiny uh like a silver uh effect which can be used for like dry brushing over black to create some really nice uh chain mail effects and that sort of thing uh but here you can see that i've painted all 10 of the paints and um, what we'll do we'll take you a look around each of the paints in this set so we'll start off with um, gemstone now you get 10 agitator uh, balls in the set box set which I haven't added yet, as I, as to be completely honest, the paints were thoroughly mixed. Um, I didn't need to shake them at all, really, but I highly recommend you do shake them and you do add the agitators to the bottles. But as I said, there was thoroughly mixed. I don't know whether they've got mixed in transit, but uh, yeah, they, they sprayed uh, fine there. Uh, so yeah, this is, um, if my camera wants to focus on it, gemstone. And here we can see gemstone. Now, I painted all of these really cool bases uh, that you can get from Dark Art Miniatures. I'll try and remember to put a link in the description box down below to Dark Art Miniatures. And these are Necro bases, which would be perfect for Necrons and obviously any other type of miniature that you like the look of putting these uh, miniatures on these bases there. Uh, but anyway, this is gemstone. And as you can see, it's a really nice metallic looks beautiful in the hand i don't know whether it's picking up as well on the camera i'm not sure at the moment but that's really really nice uh, and now we're going to show you zephyr pink and i have to add that i airbrush all of these using two thin layers and if i can just show you i use the army painter airbrush medium to thin these down now they are like a regular acrylic paint from the army painter in the respect of thickness uh, so they brush paint really nice i did brush paint one of the bases i forget which one it was now actually i think it was one of the bluey colored ones and it brush painted really nice as well as airbrushing but for quickness and for smoothness i uh went with airbrush for pretty much all of the uh other bases uh, now we're looking at glitter green now this is one of my favorites love this color looks really nice uh, these bases are not perfect so i've over painted them as i did tests on them uh, last week uh, so i um, primed them all black again over another co uh, coat so these paints would look even nicer over a uh, fresh plastic or resin uh, but these are repainted uh, so here you can see we can see night scales which is a really dark dark gray blue it's hard to make out but uh, it looks really cool nonetheless uh, and then we're gonna go to uh, tainted gold which is like an ancient gold with a slight green tinge to it. I don't know whether uh, my camera's picking it up, but it looks really nice. Really like this colour. Uh, then we go into Evil Chrome. I don't know why it's called Evil Chrome, because it doesn't look nothing like Chrome. Well, I suppose in a way it's got the sheen of Chrome, so maybe that's why it's called Chrome. Uh, but uh, it does look really good. Who am I to say a watch something should be named anyway? But yeah, really like that colour. 
and as you can see that as I'm angling it there it's really reflective looks really nice uh, and then we come into the effect paint fairy dust now the fairy dust paint as I mentioned before you can actually use this to dilute some of the paints well not necessarily dilute them mix them say for example if you wanted to create a highlight uh, on one of the paints you could add this to one of the metallics and create a highlight uh, so if you added it to the blue or the green for example there uh, you create a bit of a highlight there with it and again looks lovely uh, then we have got Alvin Armour. I'll just show you Alvin Armour. Again, I, I have to um, say, guys, I didn't struggle spraying any of these paints out of my Awata Eclipse CS airbrush there. I thinned them with uh, a little of the Army Painter airbrush medium, and they spray beautifully. Uh, and last but not least, we have Azure Magic, which is, again, a really nice bluey-green colour. As I say, guys, apologies that uh, these are not painted on fresh bases, and you would get even smoother results if you did. But as you can see, as I turn this little uh, turntable around, you can see that the metallics all look lovely really really nice colors and a great addition to the 124 i think it is current army paint paints probably more than that guys uh but i, I just love them uh they're really really nice they paint beautifully with a brush and in my personal opinion even better with an airbrush because you're going to get the smoothest possible results but uh, yeah, I love them. Uh, highly recommend these new paints from the Army Painter guys. Uh, but let me know in the comments field down below what you think. Is there a favourite colour from the set that you like? Uh, will you be using one of these colours to paint uh, uh, maybe a Space Marine Army? I mean, this purple would look absolutely epic. A whole army of Primaris in this purple would look just so cool uh but yeah uh let me know uh i want to say uh quickly uh thank you to the army paint for sending me the set out for review and thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch this video and i'll catch you in the next one